What's up guys, it's Solana Crawford aka Creative Mind Control where we get busy with the creativity. And in this video you guys will be viewing a piece that I did back in October. I want to say the middle of October. I started this piece and I recently just finished it before the year was out. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this piece. It was super exciting and I hope you guys like it. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be posting more and you wouldn't want to miss. Enjoy the video. what's up guys so let's get straight into it this is the reference photo that i used for this piece and it was super amazing okay so he wanted to go with a model on his wall actually he did two different models um but this one in particular he liked a lot and instead of going with the actual you know face of her he wanted to you know do a camera lens for the eye and i was like wow that would be super dope i've never done anything like that before so you know i like to do a lot of texture things and so Going with this piece, I wanted to put uh, like a 3D effect on this piece. And I also wanted to pop out from the abstract look. Um, as you can see here, I'm adding the uh, words to the top of the camera lens. And on one of these words at the top, you clearly can see at the top, I definitely spelled it wrong. It literally says info graphics at the top. If you look really closely, it says inspiration, visual, idea, um, and then <laughs> a couple other things. And then at the top, you see infographics. And he was like, hey, everything looks good. I just, we just have a little minor problem. And I was like, what, what do you mean? He was like, at the top, man, it says infographics instead of infographics. And I'm literally like, wait, hold on. She can't spell. What is that? Clearly, I was talking and wasn't paying attention. So I went back and corrected. As you can see, it says infographics now along with everything else. So move along, move along crowd. Let's move along. Okay, so on to the puzzle pieces that I added. Um, reason being is, again, texture is just different types of uh, things I like to add to my pieces. So as you can see here on the wall, it's like kind of like a 3D effect of the camera lens sticking out of the wall instead of just painting it like an actual camera lens. I wanted to like make one myself and um i think i did a pretty good job on this um as far as the 3d effect and uh putting some of the details in there and along with the abstract look i wanted to keep the abstract look but add 3d pieces and as you can see with these puzzle pieces and different types of um phone pieces i used here um reason being is in the dark areas where the puzzle pieces were um whenever i'm doing a piece and Let's say if it's uh like, like you see here, the phone pieces, and then you see the puzzle pieces with it. Even though they're two different types of uh, pieces, when you put all the pieces together and you color it one color, it becomes that one color and, and that space, even though you're seeing the different types of textures. So when I do do textures, I don't like to just put them any type of way and then they don't blend in with the piece itself. So uh, again, as I stated, the abstract look and the 3D effect, I like these type of things because it give my audience slash um, customers something, you know, to look at and to be able to interact with. Um, so moving along with this piece here, you see it says uh, Liquid Smoke. Um, the guy's house that I'm doing, his name is Pierre Liquid Smoke Luke. And you can uh, find his information at the end of this video um, where you can contact him. He does a, an amazing job with videos and videography and you guys should contact him. If you want anything done for yourself, you would not be disappointed. I promise you that. So along with this piece here, um, he actually did a lot of input with this pieces as far as like the type of things he wanted. Here you can see the little beads and things that he added along with the lights and to her hair. Um, and I thought it was pretty like super dope. Um, a lot of the other things he added here is like taping off some of the stuff and saying, Hey, look, just go in and do this, do your thing with this. Um, I think this would be dope here. I think this would be dope here. And I'm like, Oh, I'm all for it. Uh, hey, you giving me the opportunity to create a lot of different things and look at things in a different light. So, um, 
here's another piece here um uh, another model reference photo that uh he wanted for uh this door here and as i was going through with this piece i was like you do you want me to put you know the uh camera lens on this model too he was like yeah yeah go for it just just go ahead and do do you with this piece and i was like all right cool so as I'm sitting and I'm thinking about what I want to do with this piece in this door, I know he wanted her hair to be as wild as, you know, the model on that reference photo. So I was like, why not go with uh, different types of texture with this? And so this piece, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and let the creativity flow. And so as you see here, I'm fixing up her face and the abstract look. Um, again, I like the abstract look for some reason. And then on top of that, I can add a lot of textures to the abstract look. Different types of shapes, different types of uh, forms. And uh, it'll still look like the actual like person, if that makes sense. It'll still look like a being or whatever I am uh, trying to project with uh, my pieces that I do. And um, I'm not gonna talk too much on this piece. I'm gonna let it flow through and then I'll come back um, on certain parts to uh, give you pointers on what I mean by uh, different types of textures. As you can see here with her legs, I'm adding the polka dots on her legs and I also wanted the 3D effect for these. So I carved out some um, foam and placed it on the polka dots there as um, I was painting it to give it that 3D look to um, from a distance and up close. <laughs> So back to the stairway up to the hallway leading to the door that you guys just seen with the um, second model. Um, here's an up close uh, viewing of this piece leading up to the hallway. And I will be back after this viewing to explain more about um, the hallway piece that you guys will be seeing shortly. Okay, so here's how the hallway looked before I even started on the hallway. It was a pink color, and he definitely was not feeling that color, so he wanted the whole wall covered as much as it can be covered. Um, originally with this piece, he had taped off that area because he wanted to give it a different type of effect, and I was like, all right, cool, I can deal with that. I can get jiggy with that. And here you see the different types of colors all over the place. I love a lot of colors. I love a lot of different types of designs. So here you see different types of designs and colors in different shapes here. Um, it's not necessarily like I was going for a certain look. I went in. I used a paint roller. I paint rolled with, with a black color. Uh, I'll use either type of like background, but um, I use black specifically and um as i painted through i went and sprayed over the areas that i you know i sprayed what i saw pretty much like um if i seen a square shape there it went in a square shape and then i went around in a different type of uh shape to get different types of 
um, shapes that you see here. So it wasn't like a particular uh, thing I had in mind at first with this piece. I originally wanted to go with uh, a theater theme because again, he does a lot of things with uh, videography and uh, editing a lot of videos and doing a lot of uh, commercials and things for people. So I wanted to go with that type of effect. And then I was like, nah, just go in and do, you know, something different that your, your different type of style. And uh, with that, this is what I created. So um, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the viewing and I'll be back uh, after these viewings. This is the final uh, viewing of his piece in the stairway. Um, you can see that he added lights in her hair. Um, I'm pretty sure he added more lights in her hair, but this is just the uh, pieces that I got of her hair with the lights lighting up. And I thought it was so dope that he did that. It was super different. And I was super like excited about the piece even more because I was like, dang, that effect is super dope. So, um, yeah, this is the overview. Um, like I said, I had a, a fun time doing this piece. It was one of the biggest pieces I've done in a while. And I look forward to doing more pieces like this, if not better or bigger. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you will. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Like and subscribe to my channel.